Miranda Miller. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna get standard porn question number one out of the way. How'd you get started in the industry? Jesus. Um, so Jesus got you in. <laughs> no. so That'd be a good story. My boyfriend actually, I was a manager at the time. He came in and bought ten thousand dollars worth of equipment, and he didn't want to talk to anybody else but me. And he was just so cocky and conceited. And he goes, "You know what? I want your phone number." And he puts his phone number down, and I was like, "Oh." I've never met somebody like that, like I have to talk to him. So long story short, I found out he's a porn producer and he wanted to fuck my girlfriend at the time because I was uh, in a relationship mm -hmm. and I wanted to fuck his. So then long story short, that's how we kind of started talking and then we both broke up with each other's girlfriends, started dating each other and he's like, hey, why don't I give you this X amount of dollars for a porn scene? Mm -hmm. And me being all modest, I'm like, I can't do porn. Then no, like I can't, you know, my family's going to kill me. And then long story short, three years later, I'm here. <laughs> you rung him up or were you the yeah, sales girl on the floor? Uh, I was the manager who actually took care of him just because he had such a large order I wanted to make sure it was correct. And it was all stuff to shoot adult film I'm yes, assuming. Yes, computers, uh, cameras, um, editing equipment, everything. Now, from the time he offered you the gig till the time you shot it, how long, how much time? It... That was about two months and it was a very like hesitant two months. I was like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know if I want to do this. Do I see myself doing this? Or, well, if I do one scene, can I just do like a hush hush kind of right. thing? What do I see myself doing? You know, right. did he, did you blow up his phone with questions? Like, oh my God, I've never done this before. Uh, no, we were dating pretty much at that time. So it was kind of like normal, but I was asking him like, what do I need to bring? Because it was an anal scene. So I'm like, do I need to clean out? Do I need toys? And the guy goes, no, I'm like this big. And sure enough, he was. Uh, so you'd be perfectly fine. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so you're not a size queen. I'm not at that time. No. <laughs> no. You are now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> now I am, unfortunately. <laughs> so you left your job. Work yes. in um, sales, obviously, because this pays better. Yes, much better. Do you, any people from your old employ, uh, employment know about Miranda Miller now? Oh, absolutely. I had a manager actually come up to me, uh, and I guess they told the entire staff without me knowing at the time. This was right before I quit. They come up to me. They're like, hey, uh, how much you're seeing on this website? And I was like, uh, how do you know about that? And they said, oh, well, we can technically terminate you for that. And I was like, I can technically sue you for sexual harassment. So you're still working there? <laughs> yes. Oh, so you didn't say, okay, now I'm a porn star. I'm no, a, I'm I did one scene. I tried to make it hush hush and mm -hmm. blew up. And then that's when somebody came up to me and was like, hey, I just want to let you know that everyone knows. And I'm like, uh, I'm not going to waste my time here anymore. So they threatened you with termination? They threatened me, yeah, but they realized I had a much bigger lawsuit. So they just kind of kept me for a little bit. And then I decided, you know what? I'm only making a grand a month. I can do something a lot more, make a lot more money, and doing something that I love. Why am I going to waste my time? You know, it sucks. They, they maybe can't terminate you for that, but they could find a reason to. There's absolutely. Like, oh, my God. Um, she's a model employee. She's, she was five minutes late today. We could fire her, which exactly. when they normally wouldn't. They would just no, they know. wouldn't. And yeah. they knew because they had such a liability and a giant lawsuit, they couldn't do that. So mm -hmm. they decided to just keep me for as long as they do because they knew oh, I was yeah. going to quit eventually. Because <laughs> they saw how money hungry I got. Well, not money hungry, but they saw excited how I was about the scene and everything. Yeah. And I was like, why am I wasting my time? So then I decided to put my two weeks. I would, I would have kept you. I would have, been, I would have probably marketed it that way. Hey, you come buy camera equipment from a porn star. Right, and an 18-year-old porn star. Like, how do you not want to do that? Especially with everyone buying their stuff online now. You exactly. Kind of need a, you kind of need that hook to get someone in the store. And I was, exactly, and I was the youngest one there, and it was just all guys all in their 40s, and just everyone just like, hey, I know she does porn, so I'm just gravitating towards her. So, yeah. You could have made quota in a day. So. I did. <laughs> in certain times. Ready to do this for Dog Fart? Yes, I am. I'm very excited. You're awesome. Let's shoot this.